Look, y'all know good and well, when there's no music, y'all know shit got real. Okay, Denise Kilhose was robbed, y'all. Denise Kilhose was robbed in his fight. And point blank, I mean, you're looking at the stats. If you're sitting here and you're looking at the stats and you see these stats right here, you see these stats, you're looking at these stats. And if you think that Juliana Velasquez won this fight, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you because you can't see or you don't know how to effectively judge a fight. I'm sorry, Denise Kilhose got robbed in this fight. She got robbed. That's just the way that is. She got robbed. Look, first of all, Denise kept the forward pressure on Juliana Velasquez the entire damn fight. She kept the forward pressure on Velasquez the entire fight. Juliana Velasquez backing up for like 98% of the damn fight she backing up. And she's throwing these little pawing jabs. Now, you know what? No, let me get this straight. Juliana Velasquez, she did have a really good effective jab. And she landed that jab. She landed that jab a couple of times. But Denise Kilhose cracking this broad upside the head, staggering her. And it's like, judges, y'all can't see the effect of striking going on? Denise Kilhose damn near had this woman out. Okay, staggered her like four or five times in this fight. I'm talking about Denise was landing that overhand right. Her being the shorter fighter, Denise was ducking and fainting up. And, and, and she was actually ducking and fainting up under those damn shots. Okay, she was ducking her head and then she'll come back underneath with that overhand right. Or she would start like hook throwing hooks to the body. Denise Kilhose was attacking the body and the legs the entire fight. What? I mean, so Denise don't get credit for body shots? She don't get credit for leg kicks? Did y'all see the leg leg, uh, the lead leg of Juliana Velasquez? Did you see that lead leg? The lead leg was chewed up, man. Denise Kilhose, she completely tore that leg up. The judges don't look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, y'all look at a mouse under Denise's eye. A mouse? The eye was starting to swell? You can land a good shot and hit somebody. See, I, I, that's how I know that a lot of judges and a lot of fans, they don't know nothing about fighting. You can land a good shot. It only takes one shot to swell up your eye. It don't take a barrage of multiple shots. And it's how the shot is placed. And it's also how much scar tissue do you have in that area that's being hit. I mean, folks, come on, man. Denise Kilhose went in there and she fought a hell of a fight most of everything Juliana Velasquez tried to do it didn't work most of her takedowns didn't work and the takedown that she did get she didn't she didn't do any damage hell it was Denise throwing punches from the bottom Denise Kilhose throwing shots from the bottom and the takedown was like what the last or the last 10 seconds around two or three man th this is crazy and then you got big dumb McCarthy to my yeah <laughs> oh man a <I> takedown yeah <laughs> Wait, 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 wait a second. So we give a fighter a round on a takedown? When you got Denise Kilhose outworking you for the entire damn fight. Then you want to break it down by rounds. Denise Kilhose outlanded Juliana Velasquez in every damn round. But I did give one round to Velasquez. I gave her one round and one round only. And in my view... I thought it was two. I had rounds one, three, four, and five for Denise Kilhose. It was either I gave either two or three to Juliana Velasquez. One of those three, one of the two. It's I can't, you know, I can't recollect the round where Juliana Velasquez did the most work. But one of those rounds she did, and I gave Juliana Velasquez one round. Denise Kilhose won four rounds in this fight. Uh, you look, man, you got the stats here to show. You got the stats here to show, y'all. You got the damn stats right here to show. I don't care. You hit somebody 101 times and they only hit you 46 times. The person who got hit 101 times, they lost the damn fight, y'all. Now, you can say, well, it depends on where the fight was. Well, the fight, the fight was on the feet most of the time. Okay? The fight was on the feet most of the time. And when the fight did go to the ground, there were no punches exchanged. The only person who landed while on the ground was Denise Kilhose. She was the only one that landed punches while on the ground. Juliana Velasquez took her down because she was getting her ass whooped. Let's just keep it a buck. The fight went to the ground, and Juliana Velasquez said, Oh, I'm going to stand with Denise. I'm going to stand with Bad idea because you about got your ass knocked out. Yeah. Yeah, miss, I'm going to stand with Denise for five rounds. Yeah, okay. Well, 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 we see how that went. We see how that went. And you took the fight to the ground because you were getting your ass lit up. That's what happened in the fight. The body kicks that Denise Kilhose was delivering. The body punches Denise was delivering. 
taking a wind out of Juliana Velasquez. You Man, did y'all see Juliana Velasquez in that damn corner? She was in there trying to struggle to breathe. Denise Gilhose tore that damn body up. You can't stand with a world champion kickboxer bo and think that you're going to get the upper edge, you idiot. You lost this fight. And you know you lost the fight. You know damn well you lost the fight. The judges know you lost the fight. Hell, Big Dumb McCarthy, in his big dumb mind, he, do, he won't admit it, but he know that you lost this fight. Man, Juliana Velasquez don't do no work in the fight. She ain't do nothing. She would throw a jab here. Now, her jab is a good jab. She got a nice jab, and that jab was working. But it, come on, man. She landed that jab few and before. We need a, a more complete breakdown in this. I want to see the jabs. I want to see, like, you know, what, what punches were thrown to the body. Man, look, Denise Kilhos had a balanced attack. Whoop this girl. I mean, she kicked her what? Threw 32 kicks. Juliana Velasquez only threw seven kicks and a knee and 38 punches somehow, somewhere. Man, this is crazy. And then Denise outworked her. She outworked her. Like, what the hell, man? This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. This is damn crazy. Guys, I ain't never seen no shit like this. Never, I mean, I mean, this, God, this, this definitely is probably the number one worst robbery to ever happen in WMMA. Hands down. Hands down. The biggest robbery. And, 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 and you know what? Yeah, man, well, you know. <laughs> well, you know. Shut up. Shut up. Ain't nobody talking to you. Ain't nobody talking to you. But I tell you what, Scott Coker, we're going to push for this rematch again. Oh, we're going to push for the fight. See, here in the WMA universe, we're going to push for the fight. Because there is nobody, and the coach means nobody, who deserves that title shot. See, what it is, man, what it is, they're going to try to make room for Liz Carmooch. That's what they're going to do. They're going to try to make room for Liz Carmooch uh, so she can get her opportunity, man. I'm going to tell you, man, this, this is a stupid move, man. This is a dumb move by Bellator. It's just dumb. Just dumb. Okay, just dumb. And we sitting here as fans, and every everybody and their mama know who won this fight, guys. Everybody and their mama know. We sitting here as fans, we know. Over here in the WMA universe, we know. I mean, yeah, we rock with Denise, and Denise rock with us over here. And I know we are a little biased. I know I'm biased. I'm very biased. But guys, I'm not gonna sit here and lie about who I thought won a fight. Okay, I, I've never done that. I've never lied about who I thought won a fight. I've always told y'all the truth. If I thought the person won the fight, I told you I thought they won the fight. Or if I thought they lost, even if it's somebody I like, guys, I always tell that truth. I'm biased. I'm team kill host all the way. I'm team kills. I mean, this somebody, man, you know, I, 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 I text Denise, man, a couple times a month. What's going on? Coach, what it is? Coach, what it is? You know, like Denise, it's cool. Like, Coach, why you ain't interview Denise, you know, before the, uh, why you ain't interview Denise before the fight? Why? What for? What for? I, I, I just call up and talk. I mean, I don't have to interview her every time I got something to say. I can talk to her behind the scenes. I can text her behind the scenes. See, folks, the thing of it is, I'm not a journalist, okay? I'm a fight fan, okay? And I have loyalty to certain fighters. Like, Marion Reno, people saying, Coach, why you didn't call Marion Reno? This is her last fight. Exactly. I can talk to Marion Reno when I want. I can just call on the phone. I can call her and her husband Mondo. I can chat with them on the phone. What 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 do I need to talk to and ask her about that I can't ask her behind the scenes? I don't have to do an interview every time. I'm a fight fan. That means I can be biased and I can show loyalty to a certain fighter. That's just what it is. And I'm biased when it comes to Denise Kills, but I'm not gonna lie. See, I don't lie for my favorite fighters. If I thought they lost the fight, I thought they lost the fight. You know? But this fight right here, man, look, look, it's, it's, it's up on the screen, man. All I got to say is, you know, the hell with those those fat judges, okay? Forget them because I'm sick and tired of them judges, man. I'm sick and tired of them judges, man. They, they, look, I broke my microphone throwing my microphone on the ground, man. I got so pissed off, man. I broke my microphone. I, I got so angry last night calling that fight. And, and, you know, folks, it's just what it is, okay? It's just what it is. We are never going to get to the point, man, to where we get where it's fair. Denise Kilhose was the first woman of color, guys, to, to headline a Bellator event. Okay? She won that fight convincingly, but that moment was stolen from her by a bunch of stupid judges. The moment was stolen by somebody who don't know how to fight. The moment was stolen from her by somebody who never laced up a pair of gloves. The moment was stolen from somebody, uh, you know, by somebody who 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 has never been put inside of a submission 
okay? Don't know nothing about submissions. Don't know nothing about jabbing. Don't know nothing about throwing hooks. Nothing. Nothing. Crazy. Crazy. Man, this right here is a black eye, man, on WMMA. This is a black eye. For real, for real. Okay? This is a black eye on the sport of WMMA. And, you know, it's getting worse and worse with these judges, man. It's getting worse and worse, okay, with these judges. For real. tell you man i tell you it just is what it is man i you know and i sit here and the reason why man guys just i just sit and i'm thinking man the amount of bullshit okay the amount of bullshit y'all that people like Ju that uh people like denise kill has got to put up with the amount of bs that they got to put up with the amount of abuse and amount of just bad decisions they like Mario and Reno got to put up with. You know these fighters they got to put up with a lot of stuff, man. They dedicate, you know, at least, you know, damn, okay, at least call the fight down the middle, man. Come on, come on, come on. Two judges actually had Juliana Velasquez ahead in the fight, and, and I mean, do these judges not look at punch stats? Do these what are these judges doing, man? Do these judges not have teleprompters that you know where they're sitting at because they need to have them because the judges can't see all the angles. They can't see all the angles. I mean, it's something in WMMA MMA period that they can fix. Get these people teleprompters. Where they sitting at, give them a teleprompter as well as being able to see the fight. Because the judges, they're strate strategically placed. They're placed in certain places. They can't see all the angles, man. Get these people a teleprompter. They need to be watching the fight just like we watching the fight. Man, it, it, it's... <sighs> I guess you got to be something more than what Denise is in order to get a decision. I don't know what else Denise could have did. I don't know what else she could have did. I mean, hell, I mean, uh, I think Denise ass could have been inside the damn matrix and could have seen all the shots coming, dodged all the damn shots, never got touched but once, and still would have lost the fight. Man, this is a damn shame. You know what? <sighs> PG-13 channel.